Ah. Uh, okay. Whose brain was he in before boss? So. So Sejima. Yeah. And before so. It was in uh, Iris. Iris. And before that, Renju. Okay. And then Shoko. And before that, Shoko. But who was before and Shoko? Before Shoko. Hmm? Was it his body? Who body was you in before Shoko? I was a parasite inside Rohan's brain six years ago until last year. I'd lost most of my memories. I was a shell of a man. Hmm. They housed me in a special hospital. But I still had those fragments of my mind left. Just as I explained earlier. From a single piece, you can recreate the whole. So who? I took my time. I don't know. Slowly regaining my memories. One year ago, I remembered everything. I, I left the hospital and immediately sought out Shoko Nadani. I got her body, and she was in Rohan's. So you killed when Rohan? When she saw herself in the mirror, she lost her mind. And committed suicide. She was confused, panicking, running up the emergency staircase, and then... Committed suicide. Uh, oh, damn. You could have just said committed That's suicide. Why Rohan committed suicide. After that, I spent a year perfecting my plan using Shoko's body. I spied on you all this time. That's why I know everything about you. I mean, you really could have came up with, like, getting my body back or something. Like, damn, he, 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 he ain't had to do all this. So who was you before Rohan? Rohan, whatever. In there. In, in that there. body you are operating right now. In uh, that skull. In this body that I'm in. My personality lived there. So where was Wait, I before? Hold on. If what you're saying is true, what about my personality? Who am I? It was in Rohan. What? I'm not Rohan. Correct. It is just as he explained earlier. I was a parasite. Number 89 was in Rohan's body. So was I really number 89? In other words. That's my real. Whoa. So I am the killer. Oh my god. I'm number 89. Yeah, cool looking body though. Look at that. But you're a killer. You know. Dang, I'm the one who got shot, and then, then fell in love with Hitomi, yeah, Iris. Damn, what the? Sorry, but time's up. I want you my mean? body back. No. It's quite simple. Sink with me and stay inside my mind for more than six minutes. I want to fight you. And if I refuse? <laughs> I know that you won't. Why is that? I know it. Huh? Date, look! This is streaming live! They better not be Mizuki. They better not. Oh, it's a Tomi? Eh, I really don't care too much for her. That's kind of messed up. You got dynamite tied up all over her. Damn you! If you give me back my body, I will give you the location. Oh, and of course, it isn't the chemical plant in the Kawasaki district. Iba, where's the source? It is being routed through numerous IPs. Oh, nice you play. Identify the source. Computer, contact headquarters now. Got it. Mm -mm. Now, what will you do? I'm not doing it. Will you agree to my request? No. Obey side soul question mark. Oh. Nah, we're not doing it. Listen. Look. We figured out that we're number 89. I'm not doing it because Mizuki is safe. So, I'm not doing it. Doc, Fuck you. I'm hurt. Fuck you. Don't you care about what happens to her? No. I'm not doing it. Do you understand the gravity of this situation? I do. A bomb is strapped to her blood. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. You're too stubborn. You're right. Maybe you're 
just cold hearted. Like I said, if it was Mizuki, I'll do it. But I'm not doing it. You wanna see what will happen? She's gonna blow up. Burns and tears and scatters. She's gonna blow up. I'm not doing it. If you aren't quick, you'll see the whole thing. Hey, I'll watch you it with I'm not you. Bluffing, don't you? I know what you're capable of. I'm not doing it. I didn't agree no matter how many times he demanded it of me. Oh shit. Here we go. <laughs> uh oh. I refused again and again. Sorry, Hitomi. Not in person. Oh! And when I saw it, I understood. Boss body rolled up, rolled into the corner of the room. I didn't want to think anymore. Anything, nothing. I closed my eyes and ran my palm across my face. I could taste blood. Bad end? I know it's pretty good end. Mizuki's still alive. <laughs> Fine. All right. We'll go back in there. All right, we're back. I guess I guess we have to obey. I'll do it. Dante. I don't have a choice. I knew you wouldn't refuse. I know you will. Don't I, Dante? You really don't. I legit said no at first. But we're doing it. We're doing it. Damn, we really switched bodies. Aiba, fuck him up. <laughs> I did it. I did it. I'm back. I got it all back. Hey, where's Hitomi? All right, I'll tell you as promised boss's house however it might be too late by now you bastard this is why i didn't want to do it in the first place what? i don't even know where boss lives she dies either way why waste of my time return my body and i'll tell you the location that's what i said I didn't lie. I kept my promise. You bastard! <sighs> You're the one who injured that body. It's your own fault, really. Damn it. Mm. Be seeing you. Yeah. Yeah, get him, Iba. Ah. Get him. Date, are you all right? No, I'm not. She's dead. Ibo's voice barely resonated. I think I said that right. My eyesight was hazy, a heap of broken images. Sweat was building on my palms. It felt like my throat was closing up and I was struggling for breath. In my ears, the rushing blood of my heartbeat was the only sound. Everyone's dead. Shoku, Rinju, Iris, Hota, Hitomi. Boss. Well, the boss still alive. The flesh remains. The mind is lost. Oh yeah. I couldn't do anything. Saito had me right where he wanted me. Nothing. Nothing. Date. It. It's okay, man. Parallel worlds exist. The words suddenly echoed in my head. I couldn't remember who or where or why, but I thought that if there really was such a world, then me in that world, I is another. Could I have had a better future? Yeah, we got the Mizuki in, like the best ending in the game. I prayed that I could. I felt my consciousness sink into a black abyss. Iba, farewell, friend. Damn, that's really the end that we got? Huh? That's the ending. That's the ending. That's the ending. That's the ending. Damn, that's crazy. Can I skip it? Alright, we're skipping. 
Wow. What ending was that? Annihilation route. End. Yeah. Well, we're not done yet. We got a couple more stuff to... I think we have one more thing to do. Or is it two more? I can't remember. But we're going to save. That was crazy. 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 Is that a lockdown? It is. Thank the heavens. We're almost done. Oh, yeah. We're literally almost done. All right, cool. All right, well, let's go ahead and begin an investigation. Here we go. Uh, this is where we got, uh, I think we got shocked by number 89. Oh, boy. That was, that was interesting. Random factory. Oh, that's right. I was on the time limit to where, uh, you know, she's about to delete everything. I got shocked. Uh, Rinju's dead. Um. You're awake. Hey. Damn it. I'm strapped into the chair. You can release yourself. We'll do something about it. Please. What is it you expect me to do? I don't know. Do a backflip or something. Come out of my eye socket and get this off of me. I cannot. Why? Why not? My body has short circuited. Oh no. It must have been the electric currents from earlier. No. <sighs> but fortunately, my communication functions are still operational. Call for help. I attempted to reach HQ and Abyss personnel for support. All right, good shit. And? No response. Oh, fuck. All right. They ignored you. Hi, ba. Uh... There must be pressure from the higher ups. Likely a result of Congressman Sajima's interference. Everybody trying to kill me. He thinks I'm investigating Monica's case. I'm not. That is not the only reason. So Sajima holds a personal grudge against you. He wants you dead. Damn. That is likely why Pewter is attempting to delete my data. Are you okay? For now. But if they breach my final layer of ice, they will destroy me. How much time I got left? I would cease to exist. I but no! I don't like this ending already. Well, well, look who it is. Number 89, aka me. What's up, me? You're How you Saito doing? Sajima. Oh, so you figured it out. I did, you bastard. Renju's body on the ground. Without his left eye. You were inside Renju, weren't you? Until just now? You used the machine to exchange minds, then got rid of his body. Talk your shit. Else, but you're a little off. What? I didn't get rid of the body. He died of natural causes. Natural causes. But what interests me more is you. How do you know you can use the sync machine to exchange minds? Let's call it parallel well, universe. It makes me think you know why I took out his left eye. Yeah, I do. <laughs> but how? How do I know that? Why do I know that? Look, he was in a different universe. You know. You know. He was in a different universe, different parallel world, mindset. You know. It's a different ball game here. The current. Did it unlock your memories? It sure did. Then tell me, this body was originally... Me! Mine. That means your body... Is yours. Is your body. Isn't it, Saito? Damn. The words came out easily. This makes no sense. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, I mean, we know why. You just don't know why. That's, that's okay. But a moment of heart's realization. I knew. Number 89's body is mine, and my body is Saito's. So I'm number 89. Well, if you know that much, then this should be easy. You want me to switch Give body with you? back my body. Ah, oh, damn. Do I have a choice? Where's Iris and Tommy? Don't worry, I haven't killed them. Yet. Yet? The brain you are currently occupying has an interesting quirk. It releases a flood of dopamine and endorphins when it kills. Hmm. I thought I'd take that brain back before killing those two. In front of you, of course. Which is why I haven't killed them yet. How do you want me to? Oh my god. Eyes. Crazy eyes. I was going to begin the sink, but I think I've changed my mind. 
I want to see you mad. Please don't. But what will really set you off? Mizuki. If you don't shut your mouth right now. All right, talking it is. What should I say? Do you have any questions for me? Uh, yeah, I do. It's early Wednesday morning. What are you trying to say? Sogo was killed? Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's read it out again. Friday, day one. We did it Friday. Yeah, 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 yeah. We already know about that. I have to take your Rinju body. Yep, yep, yep. Um, day two. I was still in Renju. Yeah. My next target. As I was. To come to the yeah, yeah. Did, but yeah, we don't got. This was around. around. I was uh, still Renju. But I didn't uh, think okay. I was. Uh, 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 yeah, I remember what's going on. Saturday evening, after inside the Somnium, uh, the time was uh, four fifty. Yeah. Okay. Tell her? Don't go anywhere. Lock the door and stay at home. She didn't listen. That's why she's dead. All right, got it. I didn't accept Saito's proposition if you did not. She would have been taken here. Oh wait, no, wait. This is a different timeline. I decided to pick her up and rend you. I thought that if she saw me in person, she would how up. You got in an accident around six ten. Ah, <sighs> so unlucky. My plans okay. were ruined, but my ultimate goal is still achievable. Achievable. So it's all good. All right. So why was the phone in the thing? Oh, right. I put that there. Why? When I was fixing Shoko's body on the horse, her phone fell out of her clothes. I forgot that I had given her one. I didn't want to take it with me, and I didn't want to toss it away. So, hmm. I decided to push it into the mouth of the horse. That's nasty. <laughs> The merry-go-round horse's mouth was hollow, which allowed the phone to fall down into its body. Oh boy. All right, day three. After the accident, my body was taken to Central Hospital. I regained consciousness just past 12 a.m. Sunday. The surgery was a success, but Renju's organs were in a horrible state. Mm -hmm. But I had somewhere to be. I left the hospital, rented a car, and headed to Iris's house. At least say like I know that. what happened after that. You got to the Sagan household at 2 a.m. You pushed the intercom button. He was sweating buckets, and he came up to me with this begging look in his eyes. He said, come with me. You went with her. Man, they went. You got Iris to come with you. But when you tried to bring her here... I got scared. I pulled my hand away and ran. <laughs> oh, you know that too? Yeah. But you're exactly right. I was planning to put her to sleep in the car, but I didn't have my drugs on me. The sleeping pills were inside Renju's crushed car. I was pushing my luck. My plan and my body were both in shambles. I'm sure the painkillers were affecting me as well. My mind was scrambled and I couldn't think straight. I couldn't chase after her. I needed to sleep. I managed to make it back here and collapsed on the ground. Next thing I knew was the next day. The next I woke day. up around noon on Monday. Mm -hmm. Renju's body was about to expire. And then, how'd you get my body? By Monday, Renju's body was almost completely dead. And of course, my consciousness as well. That's when I got a call. From a Mr. Amanoma. Who? The man you call Pewter. Oh, the Pokemon trainer. Fuck that guy. The boss told me that then, Renju asked. Yeah, yeah. We already know that story. Should've shot your leg. Should've shot your leg. Why did you want him to escape? When I heard that number 89 was coming to Abyss HQ, I came up with a plan. Renju! Iris trusts this number 89, this body. I thought I could use it to get to her. And there was yeah. another reason. 
I plan on over? eventually switching ah, bodies with you. With you and I would get our original bodies back. And mm -hmm. after I do that, I will kill Iris and Hitomi in front of you while you're in this body. A rather nice plan if I do say so myself. I don't like That's that plan. I asked Pewter to help number 89 escape. I don't like, I don't I like this plan. This body at all costs. I don't like this plan. Hmm, okay. So what happened after that? Rohan, who was inside number 89's body, to the abandoned factory. Rohan was my partner in the Cyclops serial killings six years ago. So naturally, we had a lot to talk about. But I didn't have much time left. Not to sound like a broken record, but Renju's body was almost done. It was completely useless at this point. So, I put Rohan to sleep and began the sink. As a result, this happened. Renju. It's just like I told you. He died of natural causes. Damn. Just mercenaries I hired. After I woke up Monday, I arranged the hit. They were expensive, but I had access to Renju's bank account. Oh. I paid them with his money. Of course, my intention was only to kidnap Iris. But after I got this body, I didn't really need them anymore. But they had already been paid good money, so... I decided to leave the arrangements as they were. And then... Pewter. I told him about Iris and hiring the assassins. I told him he could use them for whatever he needed. And he acted on his own without consulting me. <laughs> Alright, what happened Tuesday? I called Iris about 24 hours ago. Tuesday at 1.40 a.m. I started a video chat with Iris. Long time no see. I'm sorry to call you out of the blue like this, but I need to see you. Iris got so excited that she dropped her guard. Mm -hmm. I told her where to meet, and she agreed right away. Damn it, it Iris. It was all according to plan. You fucked everything up, I Iris. I knew that if I looked like him, she would do anything. I've been looking for him for six years. I mean, he was in jail. I see. That is why Iris left Matsushita Diner. Ugh. So the person she trusts most is me. Date. Number 89's current body was originally yours. After Iris got into the car, I put her. I restrained Oop, her and sorry. called her Tomi. I have your daughter. Don't call the police or she dies. Oh, yeah. I used Iris to reel in Hitomi. And you. You Thanks bastard. Thanks so cooperative. Oh, you're welcome. But you did drag your feet. I was getting tired of waiting. Now what? I was only 12. But mm -hmm. I remember it vividly. On that day, 18 years ago, I heard my dad on the phone. I'm going to see Monica. I followed him. I got into a taxi and followed my dad's car. He went to the Harbor Warehouse District. Flashback. Get rid of that baby. No, this baby stays with me. I'm not getting rid of the baby. Well. I'll send you all the child support. And she walked off. And then the son was like, I'm not having a discharge. Got him. I don't want any siblings. All of it's for me. It's your fault. Your fault, I'm a bastard. Yeah, I remember. So why'd you kill him? I've only ever been happy when I was killing something. Before Monica, I would kill cats and pigeons. Oh my god. 
It was the only way I could feel happiness. You sure you don't want to say that, buddy? I could feel anything. But like a drug, I eventually grew a tolerance to it. Next, I'll kill a human. That's when I found out about Monica. That woman took my dad from me. I mean, she really didn't. And she but, stole uh, all the happiness from my house. I mean, she really didn't. So I though. chose her as a target. I was born with a brain disorder. Yeah, I know about I it. I can't secrete oxytocin from my pituitary gland. And I didn't have a mother. Not a real one, I mean. My mom died giving birth to me. So, naturally, my emotions toward my dad were... complicated. Sometimes, I think, if I didn't kill Monica, would things be different? Who had a sibling? Maybe the murder six years ago never would have happened. That's about it. You, Rohan. Maybe none of us would have gotten mixed up in this. I'll still be a killer. And maybe Shoko Nadami never would have gotten killed. Isn't destiny a curious thing? Very much One so. One mistake can change so many lives. Listen to the rest of his story. Sorry. I don't have anything else to say to you. Oh, oh it's fine. I'm last growing it. tired of seeing that twisted, angry face of yours. You say you want to see me mad, though. So, shall we get started? No. Give me my body back. No! I don't want to. <laughs> ah! I got sedated. Oh, took out my eye. Strange fake eye. Don't eat it. Oh well. You took out your own eye. Oh my god. Ah! Ah my god. He took out his own eye. So you're gonna switch him out? It's ready. Alright. Oh. We switching bodies. We're going back to our original states. So what am I gonna see? What is that? Why is this here? Hey, that man getting it. Hold on. Hey. <laughs> what is happening? That was. That was you dancing. You don't have Iba, so Damn you're kind of on your own. Why can't I wake up? Uh oh. This doesn't look like footage from a surveillance camera. Alright, we don't got Iba. We're on our own. Mental lock one. How many we got? We got two. We got three. Oh, fuck, we got four. Please, no five. Uh, we have a five. Oh my god. Search Konami Dante. Dante Konami Ibis Special Agent Verify Identity. Alright. So do I have a time limit? That I'm trying to do everything? Oh. We got the first one. Conceal. Alright. That's easy enough. One down. Four to go. Being synced? Yeah. Hey, I need to sync on the computer. You are being synced, Dante. So... Oh, cool. I have no time. Cool. We're playing as Dante. Can I leave? The door. Let me open it. Won't open. Damn it. 
All right, well, I guess we're going to the computer that says sync. Sync? Touch, hit, erase, check. We're going to erase it. Delete it. No good. I can't turn it off. Damn it. Oh, well. There's a knife there now. How did that knife get there? What the hell? What? Uh-oh. We're going back to our old habits. Damn it, what is this? We can't go back to our old habits, Dante. Oh, maybe I can go through the door now. Oh, uh, there's me and Rohan. Or was that Saito? Oh, they're doing the switcheroo. Oh, the door is opening. Only slightly? Question mark? Alright. Sink room door. Go to the sink. I'm gonna lose 60 seconds. But, here we go. Who's in here? Same machine. Sink machine. All right, let's investigate. What is that? Oh boy. Hmm. Me? What was he doing? I don't know. Sink gear. Fix, press down, pull off. We're gonna pull it off. Ah, my god, that's sharp. Shit. Again. Yeah, they're... Oh, what? Okay, he got up and walked off. Okay. What does that mean? Door. This wasn't here before. Alright. Let's follow the door. Where does this door lead? Oh. Oh. It's a black screen. Hello? What is this? What is this? Is this a factory? I mean, the warehouse. The prototype. Yep. There it is. Oh, there's a pool of blood. Maybe... Am I seeing what he's doing in, in the sink? No! Not Arison. Tell me. He dropped the picture. Help me! Oh. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh my god. The pool of blood. We gotta save them. Blood. Pick up a picture, scoop up blood, investigates to cannon. Now we're gonna pick up the picture. Pick up the picture. <sighs> the picture. Save it! Drop it. What? Blood. Why don't you pick up the picture? Damn. Fine. Oh, An eyeball. Is... Oh! What happened there? It's them. <laughs> uh oh. Son, face my demons. Look at him. All 
All right, well, I guess we're going to the mirror now. We're gonna face our demons. You're. Touch it, investigate, hit, and knock it down. We're gonna hit it. Because I don't like you. Fuck you! Damn, nothing. Uh, well, guess I gotta touch it. Alright, let's touch it. I touched it, but nothing. Oh, okay. Thought we did with anything where he grabbed me through the mirror, but we're gonna just knock it down, so. I can't. I just can't do it. Oh, damn it. Damn, so we really just gotta investigate? Okay, then. It's just a mirror. <laughs> what? Eyeball? What's happening? <laughs> Dante? Oh! Damn it. Can you put his eye back in? No, no. Uh oh. That's not good. Got the eye back in. Just a little more. No, Saita. <laughs> oh, the room is filled with blood. I'm gonna drown in my own sorrows. Please, no. I'm not ready for this. I'm sinking. No, I don't want to sink. Somebody give me a light. I'm sinking. Somebody save me. Somebody save me. Damn, I have no choice. It's making me sink. What do I do? Oh no, he's even trying to move, but he can't move. Or if he is, he's moving really slow. Ah! Dante! Get out of there! No! What is this? It's the end! There I go. It's over. I am no longer Date in this body. That was Okay, we're back to see the beginning. <laughs> So you switch bodies. Dante acquired. Day six.